Okay, can you show me from the Bible where anyone kills a child because they are frightened? They are afraid. They are afraid that they might be rebellious. Yes. Go back to the Canaanites because that's the one that always comes up. He wiped out everything that breathes, even women, infants, and animals. Now, how could God justly do that? Do you know what he means by that? There is a limit to how much sin God will put up. And once you reach that limit, now you're at the point of no return. He has no choice but to wipe you out. So notice, God wiping out the Canaanites 400 years later is actually a proof of his patience, love, and mercy. Because each new generation of Canaanites did not repent, but continued in the evil of the generation before them for 400 more years. You know why God waited 400 years? Not only because He's patient, but to teach us a lesson. You see, no matter how much time I give these people, they won't repent. They'll continue in their sin. So don't blame me and condemn me when I wipe them out, because that's the pattern of their behavior. They keep sin upon sin, moving me to destroy them. So let me ask you a question. In light of that, would God have been just to destroy those infants, seeing the pattern of all the infants born for the next 400 years? Every new generation of infants grew up to be just as wicked as the generation before. Yes. Uh, yeah. So God, was God just in destroying even infants? Yes.